Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. This is going to be five part lab guides in which I'm going to cover the steps for distributed deployment of Checkpoint RET1. In this lab guide, I'm going to install and configure Checkpoint RET1 security gateway component in Oracle VirtualBox. Already I have created one virtual machine with the name MBN RET1-GW01. In that VM, I will install Gaia operating system. Then I will complete the first time configuration process to install security gateway component on it. As this is going to be a distributed deployment of Checkpoint RET1. Now let me show you the lab topology which I'm going to use for this lab guides. So this is the image of the lab topology which we are going to use in this lab guide series. In the first lab guide, we are going to install security gateway component on this virtual machine. Fine. So let's move to Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. Uh, let's select the virtual machine and first of all, I'm going to modify the settings. Let's click on system tab and uh, you can see the memory which I have assigned to this virtual machine is a 6 GB. Let's click on processor tab and uh, we want to assign two CPU core for this virtual machine. Then after I'm going to click on storage. Uh, let's mount the IC image of checkpoint RET1. Fine, uh, let me show you the network tab as well as I have attached total four network adapters to this virtual machine. But right now only one network adapter is attached which is in a host only adapter. Fine, let's click on OK and let's start our virtual machine. Let me maximize it. And this VM will boot from the Gaia operating system installation image. Let's select install Gaia on the system and press enter key. This will be the first screen where you have to interact with the installation wizard. It is asking us that do you want to proceed with the installation? Select OK and press enter key from your keyboard. It is asking us to select the keyboard layout which is going to be US in our case. Select OK and press Enter key again. Then it is asking us to specify partition size. System swap partition is going to be 8 gig. And I'm going to specify the size for system root partition. It is going to be 50 GB. And for logs, again I'm going to specify 50 GB. And remaining size will be used for backup and upgrade. Now select OK and press Enter key from your keyboard. Specify the password for Gaia operating system administrator. The username is going to be admin. Specify the strong password, select OK and press enter key. Here we can see we have a total four network adapters at each to this virtual machine. We're going to use ETH0 as a management interface from which network we are going to manage our checkpoint firewall. So select ETH0, select OK and then press enter key from your keyboard. Type the IP address for management interface. Let me again show you the lab topology. In our case, our management interface IP address is going to be 10.2.21.1 slash 24. So let's specify the IP address. 10.2.21.1. 2.21.1. The subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 and right now I'm not going to assign the default gateways IP address. I select OK and press uh, Enter key from your keyboard. It is asking us that are you sure you want to continue? Select OK and press Enter key again. The installation process is started. And now you don't have to interact with any wizard until the installation process completes. As you can see, the installation process is completed successfully. We can see the message to complete the first time configuration of the system, log in from console or connect using a browser to the IP address https colon double slash 10.2.21.1. But first, we need to restart our virtual machine. Let's press enter key to restart this virtual machine. 
After installing Checkpoint Gaia operating system, we need to perform the first time configuration wizard to install security gateway module on Gaia operating system. And for that, we will use our Windows 10 virtual machine. But first, let me sign on to this uh, virtual machine. Here we can see the message. In order to configure your system, please access the web user interface and finish the first time wizard. Let's jump to our Windows 10 virtual machine. Uh, let me show you the lab topology. Uh, we are talking about this virtual machine. The IP address assigned to this uh, Windows 10 virtual machine is 10.2.21.10. Let's verify that. Let's open command prompt and type ipconfig. As you can see, the IP address assigned to this virtual machine is 10.2.21.10. Let's check the network connectivity with our Gaia operating system. As we can see, we are receiving reply from the IP address 10.2.21.1. That means we have a network connectivity with our Gaia operating system. Uh, let me minimize this and now I'm going to open Microsoft Edge web browser to access the web user interface. Let's so type HTTPS, colon, double slash and then we need to specify the IP address of our Gaia operating system which is going to be 10.2.21.1 in our case. Let's press enter key. Click on advance. We are seeing this error due to the self-signed certificate assigned on Gaia operating system. Let's specify the username of Gaia operating system, which is going to be admin. And then we need to specify the password, which we have set up during the installation process. Here you can see platform open server as we have installed Gaia operating system in virtual box. Click next. We are going with continue with R81 configuration deployment option. Click next. Here a management interface is selected and that is ETH0. If you want, you can change the IP address from this configuration page. Click next. If you want to assign the IP address on other interface, that time you need to select the interface from this page and assign the IP address. But right now I'm not going to assign the IP address to this interface. I'll create a one dedicated lab guide in which we will assign the IP configuration. Click next. Specify a host name for this firewall. Here I'm giving host name MBN R81-GW01. You can also specify other information like DNS server address, proxy server's IP address and the port number. But right now I'm not going to assign any other information. Click next. On this page you can set up date, time and time zone as per your region. Right now the Gaia operating system virtual machine is not connected with internet. Once we complete the IP configuration settings and connect our Gaia operating system to the internet, then we will use a network time protocol to synchronize the time and date settings. But right now, I'm just going to click on the next. Uh, this time we will select installation type, security gateway and or security management. Click next. Now this time you don't have to select the both modules. We just want to install security gateway module and that's why I'm going to clear the checkbox in front of security management. Click next. Select no as static IP address has assigned to this checkpoint gateway. In case if you have a dynamically assigned IP address on your checkpoint gateway then you need to select yes. Click next. On this page, you need to specify secure internal communication password, which is used for the integration of security gateway and the security management server. It is also called as a SIC or a SIG password. You should have to remember it as it will require to establish communication between the management server and the gateway in Smart Console Dashboard. Let's click on Next and click on Finish to start the deployment process. Click on Yes. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, we want. It is currently verifying the configuration 
and then after it will start the installation of security gateway module on the top of our Gaia operating system. Click on OK to restart the server. If you don't click on OK button, then it will restart automatically after 60 seconds. After successful reboot of Gaia operating system, you will be redirected back to the login screen. Let's press for the username, admin and the password to login again. Let's click on login. Now this is checkpoint R81 Gaia operating system or web interface. Here you can see system overview information like platform, kernel version, build number and system uptime. From this page, we can manage settings like network configuration, system configuration, routing settings, user management, etc. Uh, let me click on network interface. And you can see we have a total 4 interface on our security gateway, but we have just assigned the IP address on one interface only. In the next lab guide, we will complete the IP address configuration for our checkpoint R81 security gateway. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.